I see it sometimes. The little kernel that gets in there. Well, you know, they're just such nice people. Okay. They're so kind. Little kernel working in there. Here's the other thing that's really important. I've said it a number of times this year. The Word of God and Jesus are your standard. Yes, amen. Not another believer, yes. not a denomination, not a network. Yes. And here's the thing that is so intrinsically important about this. You are actually on limited time to do a work on the earth. And you will not, listen to me, Linda, you will not get credit for being awesome at baking a cake if he called you to build cars. Come on. Catch that. Think about this. You're an ambassador. You have been hired to cook a roast for this family for Christmas. They want a roast. Beef. A good roast. And you show up on Christmas with fried chicken. It's the best fried chicken you have ever tasted. And you don't know why they're upset because you, built, you, you, baked the be, you fried the best fried chicken ever, but they hired you to cook a roast. So sometimes we did, well, well, we did our best. Well, no, he didn't ask you to do your best. He asked you to produce something. Well, the chicken's awesome. I know it's awesome. It's just not what he asked you to do. It's awesome, chick. I know. It's just not what he asked you to do. You were hired to cook a roast, and he gave you the ability to cook a roast. And by the way, a roast is better than fried chicken. I don't care what you said. <laughs> it could be the greatest fried chicken ever. But good is not what God asked for. He asks you to produce what he puts you on the earth to produce. Abortion after conception of a God-desired reality. It's another robber of destiny. You want to read that? I, I won't develop that too much tonight, but Luke chapter 1. Angel of the Lord comes. Zacharias, your prayers have been heard. It's very interesting how God actually sees people's heart. Mary and Zacharias both ask questions. Only one got to talk for the next nine months. <laughs> Hold on. Mm -hmm. Not to the like you sort of think God spoke to you. The things that you know God spoke to you. Because the enemy loves to abort, yeah. particularly when people are on the one-yard line. I remember years ago, I, I uh, think I was like 19 years old, I heard this guy say, I had this vision. And people were at the one-yard line, about to break through. And they all just turned away. And they're about to break through into the goal line of what God had for them. Recognize your co-laboring role with God in this season. <coughs> Here's another one. Wrong alignments, wrong relational connections, and wrong geographic places. So what have I learned? Not the only one, but here's one quick thing that settles this one. Luke 6.33. When the kingdom of God is your primary pursuit, you can believe God that you're always in the right place at the right time in the right season. 
But it is healthy to ask the Lord if you've ever missed a turn. Because Paul said, I didn't think, I, I don't know if I'll get there Sunday. Paul said, examine yourself to see whether you're in the faith. Examine yourself to see if you've missed a turn. This is sometimes where, oh, man, when, when you're like, it, it's what David said, pour out your heart. Before, did I, I, I used to ask the Lord all the time, did I miss a turn, Lord? Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I did. Because <laughs> sometimes you can be in a place in your life and in a chapter in your life, God doesn't forsake you, but you made a decision as an American, not as a kingdom citizen. Yeah. You still love Jesus, but now you're in the wrong location, wrong place. No shame, no blame. But now what do I do from here? Yeah. In the kingdom of God, you got some people living in California. They should be living in Alabama. you got some people living in Martinsville. They should never lived in Martinsville. Yeah. Follow the will of God. Mm -hmm. The resources will come. The house will come. This will come. Everything you have need of. He taught us this, right? About birds. <laughs> he goes, don't worry about this stuff. Look at the birds. Right? Look at the birds. They neither toil nor spin. But Solomon, I tell you, in all, one of the richest men in the world, in all his splendor was not clothed like one of them. It's amazing how he would teach us about these truths. Think about it. What is a bird? A bird is a bird. A bird focuses on its purpose, and when it does its purpose, all of its needs are met. But if we live in this world trying to get our needs met and abort purpose, so I always encourage people, what did the Lord say? And most of the time, sincerely, people do know. But we can find even scripture to often disobey God. All right? People, I've seen people doing really well, plugged in somewhere. First time they've actually connected to a good community of people. They're growing, they're doing. And often sometimes the enemy can bring something that God actually wants to do for you, but he will bring you in a season where, in an incorrect season, right? So the company, the job's going to move them across the country and they're going to get double and triple the salary. And, you know, they're like, oh, my wife won't have to work. We can homeschool the kids. But what does God say? Because God has planted you here now. Nothing wrong with moving. Nothing wrong with following the will of God. It's wrong, though, if God is not sending you. I learned, won't get into it, but I learned a lesson very early in my teenage years of not following the voice of God. It cost me dearly. No shame, no blame if you've made a mistake. He can redeem that stuff. But you don't want to keep making the same mistake over again. Amen. Final one. Well, I've already touched these. Continual lack of obedience in underdeveloped faith. Robbers of destiny. God in this season is going to release a spirit of acceleration, spirit of wisdom. Hey! Spirit of increase. But there are many little obstacles that the enemy will try and put your way to rob you of prophetic destiny. There's a clear, there's a clear call. And the voice of the Lord is clearly speaking and clearly speaking to his people. It's a call to come close. It's a call to come near. It's a call for some of my people to redefine their lives 
and even a dimension in which they've seen themselves in light of what I've desired them to become. I'm, I'm calling my people to inherit what no other generation has inherited before. I'm calling my people to position their hearts and their minds to obey what they know so they can inherit what is not known, but it will bring the fulfillment of promises given to my children many years ago. Listen, my people, now is not the time to grow weary in well-doing. Now is not the time to shrink back, and now is not the time to lose heart. For 2023 will be the great unveiling and the great unpacking to my people of divine inheritance. Divine inheritance is your portion, and generational building is what many are stepping into in this season if they will simply obey, obey, obey. Be aware and be sober-minded, for the enemy of your soul seeks to steal the prophetic destiny for which he has put you on the earth. Now is a season in which he desires to steal the prophetic destiny purpose I have for my children and abort that which I've ordained to birth in this season. So I say again, do not grow weary in well-doing. This is a season in which I will visit local assemblies as never before. In fact, this is a season that as my people come close to me, I will visit local churches in an unprecedented manner. I am coming with power to the local assemblies that have built according to divine pattern. I, I will come in unprecedented power to local assemblies and local bodies, both big and small, both traditional and untraditional. I will have my way and I will come in unprecedented power. The heavens are open to the, bo to, to the bodies in the earth who have ears to hear and are given for my purposes. You can, you can believe me for unprecedented power to be released in your midst and the will of God to be done. There is coming, says the Lord, seasons of just times of worship and prayer. There are coming, says the Lord, seasons of prof powerful prophetic preaching and unprecedented miracles and physical signs, fragrances and unusual patterns that will be signs of unprecedented glory, glory coming to my people. There's a call from heaven, a clear call from heaven, and Jesus himself is releasing fresh keys to his people to know him intimately. World systems will continue and long existing structures both in the United States and both in the marketplace and the church will shake and will vanish. But those whose hearts are positioned correctly, those whose greatest desires to know me will not only flourish but will advance and will not be moved. But the Lord says, it's your choice of whether you will not be moved. But I say to my people, do not be moved. Do not be moved. Do not be moved. E karamoho o taramaya, e erebo raba asi arabaya taramaya rabaka. E redemoho shaya anda akaya aya. The Lord says to my people, you are not without in this season. You are not without in this season. In fact, says the Lord, I have longed for this generation in the earth. I've longed for a generation of Enoch's to come in the earth and walk intimately with me. I've longed for the Daniels to re-arise in the earth. And yes, they're re-arising. I've longed for the Josephs who dream impossible dreams. Shaya. Erebo a aramoho shaya baya. Eh, eh, erebo. Erebo ya baayi araboho. There's a well in I don't know how to describe it, but there's a well. There's a well in heaven of impossible dreams that are inside the hearts of my people. 
So it would be a sign to the nations of the earth of covenant promise, of promise of outpouring. The Lord says the days ahead are full of promise. The days ahead are for the birthing of the impossible. Do not allow yourself, says the Lord, to be shaken. You can hold firm and close to me and know and see with the eyes of faith and the eyes of advancement. For it is a season to advance. It's a season to overcome. And it's a season to break through. I say to my people, yes, there will be difficulty. I did not promise you a life without challenges. But the Lord says, on the inside of you is my power. On the inside of you there will be a prevailing word hey so like David like David you will speak to the Goliaths you will speak to the Goliaths and I'll give you wisdom and revelation to release the stones to see the Goliaths fall hey Truly, there will be challenges. It also says the Lord, it will be like the tale of two cities. But the Lord says, I, I have given the blueprints for victory. I have given the blueprints to build in advance. I have been given the blueprints to unlock cities. So the Lord says, whoa, he's here tonight. Jesus is here tonight. Just lift your hands. I want to stamp my people, says the Lord, with focus, resolute focus, and a release of power. You'll need my power. You'll need my spirit. You'll need the Holy Spirit. There it, hey, the Lord, hey. There's a premium. I'm praying in the Holy Spirit spirit tongues and interpretation of tongues I'm going to call some of you to do things you've never done before you'll be unqualified but what will qualify you says the Lord it will be the word of the Lord and there'll be a blueprint there'll be an ability to bring it to pass hey so so allow yourself to flow with the rivers of heaven allow yourself to pray continually in the spirit pray always in the Holy Holy Spirit. Don't be ashamed of the work of the Holy Spirit. Lean into me and there's wisdom. And now says, oh, I see him tonight. There is angels assigned for the interpretation of tongues. Tongues and the interpretation of tongues. I'm going to challenge some of you, says 30 minutes, 40 minutes, an hour to hand it a boho sha. Hey, hey, Erebo. Some of your children will come home. Hey, through the praying in the Holy Ghost. Hey, Enderebo Shaya. The unlocking of captives. Enderebo Shaya. To the church leaders, to the fivefold ministries, you said, How will we move ahead? How will we move ahead in the vision? The Lord says, It's in the Spirit. And it is, a, it is a sign, says the Lord. It's a sign, says the Lord. Because there's a premium on what you're speaking. There's a premium on what you're speaking. Did I not? Hey, <laughs> Oh, I see him here. Jesus is here to guard your mouths. 
Did I not say you could have what you say? And so the Lord says to his children, I'm inviting you to come up to the mountain of the Lord. It's a place of greater set-apartness. It's a greater place. It's a place of hearing and sub hey, submitting to things you've never heard. It's a place of purity. It's a place of the fear of the Lord. It's a place to guard your mouth. The Lord says to his children, be careful. Be careful to not allow blessing and cursing to come from the same cistern. For there's a purifying fire and cleansing grace I'm releasing to the earth. Moyo ayam bahasia moho shaya. Mere moho shaya ayara boho shaya. 2023 will be the beginning of a season of a great washing. A cleansing river is being released across the earth to purify and cleanse my people of anything that would stop forward progress. Just lift your hand. Hey! Lord, as you've led me tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I release your people to receive this cleansing river. I declare in the name of Jesus, minds being unlocked, ears being unlocked, hearts being unlocked. There's someone here on... Uh, I believe on my right, you've had trouble just letting something go, letting this issue go. And I release you from that hook now in the name of Jesus. I'm releasing a cleansing river and a spirit of the fear of the Lord so that righteousness and holiness would be lived, preached and proclaimed by my people as never before. Edemohoshaya. Mayana moho. Ya haya boho saya. Ya ya boho ramahaya. I'm coming in all sorts of ways, says the Lord. I'm not coming in one dimension to my people in this season. I'm coming with the oil of joy. For gladness, because many of my people have been de hey, hey, been depressed. I'm coming in signs and wonders because many of my people have been way too sick. I'm coming in the fear of the Lord because many people have related to me too casually. And they're coming on the scene, says the Lord. Beware in your hearts, says the Lord that you would not be offended of what you're about to see from the pulpits of America. They'll come in unusual packages. Some will come from down in the track. Some will come from years of preparation. But I'm about to put on display those who would speak as though a whole generation has never spoken before. They'll come young. Some will come older. But your heart, says the Lord, will bear witness that they're of me. Your heart will bear witness that they're of me. Mere boho shaya. Mayandara boho shaya. Ere boho shaya boho se. Oh, and if you think you've heard, if you think you've heard some beautiful songs in the earth, the Lord says you haven't seen anything yet. Hey, hey, boy. Oh, oh, there's these most beautiful angels that will invade heaven and earth and the worship of heaven will come to the The arts, the arts, the arts, media. Ereboho shaya boho. Ereboho shaya boho. Ideas, insights. It's in the earth, says the Lord. You are not without anymore. You are not without anymore. 
You are not without. What are the keys to navigate the next season for my people? Quit, quick repentance, steadfast focus, and unwavering faith. The ability to hear and discern. Just stop for a minute. I've been sensing this more and more. It's probably the fourth time I've sensed it. But I, maybe the first time corporately that I can remember. There's a spirit of hearing and knowing. Seeing and knowing. Just lift your hands. There's an impartation for that. Hey, I bless you to receive the spirit of hearing and knowing. Whoa. The ability to declare and decree properly. The ability to continually operate in faith. The ability to know when to rest and when to act. The ability to open new understanding and revelation. Maya aya boho shaya. Mere boho shaya mahaya. There's a rest of the Lord now that God is releasing. Father, you said that there's a rest of faith. And so I bless your people to enter 2023 with the rest. Hey, the rest of faith. There's an angel, Lord, just... Just lift your hands, if you would. There's an angel, Lord, just lifting burdens, weights, confusion, fear. 